Hello, everybody, and welcome back to K Plays Hellish Court this Sword Sunday. And today, I've got a treat for you. Now, because we were all, y'all and me both, we were all very, very good. We behaved ourselves, and we eated our greens. Mama and Papa Kubold said we could have one chapter of story mode. So we got the first, yeah, we, did we play through the whole first six? Yeah, so that was that, and then Banditos. So now we have chapter seven. So when we last left our, our, our startlingly handsome hero, we had Barabbas the bandit at blade point. Spat on the floor to show maximum possible disrespect. And we saved this drunken hombre. Alright. I, I mean, look, I'm just saying I wouldn't have had a problem running a saber through his neck. Mr. Ferrari. That's right, that's right. There is a false monk in the room. Oh, no. He's a cursed man that fears neither God nor the devil, but appears to be a monk. Tell me, kids, if that sounds some kind of familiar to you. All right. We have enlisted the assistance of a real monk. A real actual monk made of real monk, uh, stuff. Real, uh, monk bones. Ooh, the thorny path of sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this guy, look. This guy be, this guy be having a chuckle. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Urwać dla waszej konfraterni coś z fortuny tarnawskich, zanim stary pan wyzionie duch. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. A pot of aqua vitae. Nie chce? I mean, sam go opróżnię. It's the one thing you know a drunk cannot resist. It's getting his hands on another drink. And sir, your bottle is empty. Na tę jedną chwilę mogę wyjść. You go come out and you go get jumped, homie. I really want Jacek just to dive forward and like slug him. Just like leap forth. Oh, what? What? We gonna knock his ass out with a broom? Yeah, broom fight. Broom fight. Oh, ow, my arm. Sir. He struck my shoulder fiercely with his broom. This this is gonna take a second. All right, stay in optimal block range. Yep. Oh, I bonged him on the noggin. I bonged him with the broom. Got him with another good bonk. Why is he taking so much bonkins? I assume it's because he's hammered. And it's going to take multiple strikes to, uh, to, to get the, ah, my knee. He just hit me really hard in the knee with a piece of wood. That's very uncool. All right, this time. No, you don't. No, you don't, sir. No, you don't. Oh, yeah, you do. Man. Brother is crazy. I'm I'm good with a saber, but clearly I lack skills in the finer arts of wielding a broom. I can I can land hits, but I'm just not landing like strong hits. Like, come on, man! That was a straight lunge to the chest. Owie. He beeped me. He beeped me in the leg. 
Why won't you go? Oh my god, how many more times do I have to hit you, bro? Dude! I am knocking him around the shop. Okay, good. He is unconscious. I just wailed on him sufficiently with a broom handle enough to where he has been knocked out. This is ridiculous. You are no monk. Wait, there's a history here? Yeah, I... Okay, th there, that implies that there is... That there is a history between Yasek and Zara. Zara in the other room, he's just yapping, bro. Zara and Blasege are getting hammered. And if I'm butchering these Polish names, by the way, I am ever so sorry. I, I just got to go with whatever I got. He, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna, like, we're gonna have a little Yasek nap. Give me a napping minigame. Give me a game where I gotta actually catch the Zs. So we got a little bit more. We got about five minutes further through. Alrighty. So we're gonna get a few minutes at a time. That is very cool. I enjoyed that. For now, what do we want to do? Do you want to do history buff or do we want to do more survival runs? I feel like doing history buff right now. Uh, had a very... Auto distance. Grappling and pushing is disabled. Fencers always keep proper distance. No, we don't play with that. We're hardcore. Um, I have had a crazy busy weekend. Um, it's it's been it's been quite nuts, and I just want to chill. Can we get a Marta mirror match? All right, lunge, lunge. Ow! She cut it. Oh, got her though. <laughs> got her. What a beautiful dance a Marta versus Marta match is. I wish I was better with Marta because her moves that's really cool. Like. Just a really quick in Cortata. Oh, damn. If I'd have been in long guard, I'd have pushed that out. We know how this works. The problem is, like, Marta is such a 50-50. If I go long guard, she, cut, she cuts. And if I don't long guard, she thrusts. I, wow. Okay, okay. I, oh, this is just such, oh, she got it. That was so tense. I, I was, I was like, I was like fully like stressed up in my shoulders for a second right at the end there. Who's next? I've got Laszlo versus Gideon. That's a pretty classic matchup. Couple OGs. Do something. Not that something. You don't want to do that, Gideon. Out. No, no, sir. No, sir. We tech those. Why are you striking? Ow. Oh, he's relentless. It's because he knows he can only fight for so long. Oh, but I got his hand. It went all the way to Germany. That hand is going to be found in a, in, in a, got two for two. That first hand, they're going to find that in a cooking, like in a cook pot somewhere. Somebody's going to go up to like a, like a street food vendor to go get themselves a pot of something good. And there's just going to be a whole Gideon gout hand in there. Oh, Yendrick. I, I so rarely play Yendrick. And not because I don't think he's neat 
Ow. Gets poked easy, though. I do think he's neat. I just think, uh... I don't, I don't particularly favor his design. And for me, I'm playing... Oh, I took another hand? Is that gonna be what this is today? I thought it was Sunday, but it turns out it's hands day. Oh, boy. Owie. Madam. Oh, she just... She just flashed in and lunged me right there. Gutted me like a prize-winning Alaskan trout. I hadn't a chance. Oh, good. Oh, and now I get torn off. All right, back it up. No, his guard is bad from his uh, left foot forward. Just can't cover what it's trying to cover. Shank. Oh, it was a double. Oh, did he got me in the neck, but I got him in the kidley. I diddles his kidley with a sword, and uh, he probably feel quite bad about that. Stop it! That hand. That hand might have even passed up Germany. That may have landed all the way in southern France. It's, 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 it's enjoying the, that uh, that border with Spain, you know? Oh, another doble. I'm glad he didn't win it, though. I'd have been mad. I'd have been upset. Here's what we're going to do. Moulinet. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Beautifully done. Out you go. Mr. Alexander has taken a back seat in the ongoing proceedings. He will be spectating the rest of the rounds for today. All right, Martha Marie, the rapier fight. Marie, are you really going to be slashing like that? Just beat my guard out of the way? Whoa! You you oh she's so she's so skippy. She's skippy like the like the goddamn Oh I had to lunge on her four consecutive times. Uh what is Skippy the peanut butter? <laughs> that's that's where I was going with that joke. Let's all let's all hold on. I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds and we're gonna pretend I made that joke really well and delivered the punchline great. <laughs> you get it? Like the peanut butter? Hey, oh. Oh, okay. I appreciate y'all for laughing. You laughed, right? Oh. I'm laughing, though. I got her right in the shoulder piece. I got her right in the shoulder piece. And she's a pig. So that's a pork shoulder. And you know I love me some pork shoulder. You slow roast that thing. Good lord. All right, Samuel versus Zara. Interesting match. I immediately get hit in the arm. Where's that the leg? Stop. Sir. Way! We took one point. And we showed off some gooch. That's how you know it's a good day. When you lo when you when you passed out from blood loss and showed your gooch. I mean you can't be doing too bad in life. Oh my hand! Oh, no. Oh, it's a handy episode today. Oh, Lord Gravy. Lord of Gravy. Who would be the Lord of Gravy? Me, I guess. Can I claim the title? Can you just claim a title like that? Can you call, like, the board of directors and be like, hi, I would like to, uh, I would like to lay claim to the title Lord of Gravy. Um... I rate like gravy. Uh, it's it, it's it's good. There is white gravy. There is brown gravy. There's many kinds of gravy, and they're all great. And I know about all of them. I make them all really good. Thus, I would like for my lordship over this domain to be formally recognized. And. Um, Yes, please kindly uh, uh, defer all uh, formal ceremonial duties in relation to... I've made that same cut every time he's done that. 
Yeah, all, all formal gravy-related duties uh, can be relayed to my assistant uh, so that I can ensure a proper ceremony is, uh, is given. And due respect is shown to gravy. Because cause you won't disrespect my gravy now. You won't disrespect my gravy now, would you, boy? You ain't going to get a chance. You ain't got a functioning right arm for with which to disrespect the gravy. That was a long, weird rant about gravy lordship. All right, Marie versus Alexander. Here we go. All right, Alex. Alex. Sir. Sir. <laughs> I feel like... I, I do feel like Marie kind of hard counters Alexander pretty hard. Hard counters him pretty hard. Lord of Redundancy. And Gravy. Shut up. But uh, there's something about his very open stance, like with his sword raised like it is, that just makes him very susceptible to getting stabbed in the abdomen. This is, of course, assuming he does not smash my blade out of the way, and then slice me in my face. His wrists are very exposed where they're at, though. And that's when you show him what it's like to ride the carpal tunnel of love. Turns out he didn't love it. That guy got stabbed. Oh, boy. All right, now I get Zera versus Jan. Back it up, sir. Bink. 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 How on earth does that get to be his point? No, sir. Okay, that one was fair. That one was fair. He gets to have that. And and I main Zara, so it's kind of embarrassing just losing super hard right like this. Oh, I went in with a big risky tactic. Make a big swang -a lang Got him. Hello. I, I've, I've now got to 3-0 -oh him. I can't hand him another flag or he win. Ain't no way he cut me just for his blade being too close to where I was. Tense match. Oh, we go in with the big swings. Sometimes it pay off, sometimes it ain't. Oh, just seated the middle third of the blade directly in his neck. How's your jugular doing, bud? I'm a jugular juggler. Sir, back away. I completely failed to capitalize on a close combat attack. I should have had that. I should have had that right there. And now he's going to murderate me. Unless I can lunge in on him. Bow! I'm, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Okay, my guard's up. I, I hit him. I can still hit him. Double! Beautiful result. Absolutely gorgeous result. I don't know why I'm fighting so hard for this in a just what is a stupid, dumb, stupid match. And I lost it immediately afterwards anyway. I just whiffed one lunge and got sliced up. I would have loved it if I'd have won that. That would have been a great moment. Um, unfortunately, uh, I suck, which, which, which is the truth. Oh, Laszlo mirror match. Can Laszlo lunge Laszlo? Oh, right in the throat. I was like, tucked it right underneath his jawline. Laszlo can actually just lunge Laszlo out of existence. It worked again. <laughs> the, the, the memes, my guys. The memes. The M-E-E-M-S memes. He tried to lunge on me. But my lunge was Mo Gooder. And on see what it is, is on account of that, he did.
That is that is ridiculous. They just 3-0 swept Laszlo with Laszlo by just lunging because Laszlo. All right, Yasek versus Marie. What do we do? We long guard. If she swings. Let's 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 calm it down there, ma'am. Oi! Very rude. Very rude. Got you in the wrist. Oh, just poked her. That was a real quick, just like, boop, poke in the eye. Just poked her eye right out. She'll never recover. Oh, double. I got her with the false edge. But she just, woof, went right in with that hideous abdomen piercer. Long guard. Blade bar. Push the lunge. Slice the face. That's how we do it. That's how the first saber of the Commonwealth do it. Madam. Ma'am. Mademoiselle. Pokey witch. Alright, Tarno versus Jan. This will be kind of interesting. Jan's quite quick. Tarno is kind of a brute. That's a double. That's a double. He got my... Oh, what did he catch me across the lower torso? Uh... But I sliced him fast. He didn't. He didn't care for it. Dash and lunge. That's got to be using up so much stamina right now, though. Oh, it's just every time I stance switch, I don't know what attacks get me back out of stance. And so, if I learned his move set, I would probably be able to be quite good, maybe. Hey, there it is. There it is. Like, you, and you can kind of see, like, these little snippets. And I, and I know I'm, I'm basically just, I'm basically just playing around. Ah, the guard position switched again. Um, but you can see that, like, there was a good little moment in there where it kind of, you get an idea of how a Tarnov can kind of dance. And how his, uh, how his stance winching and, and positioning can be very, very strong and a very powerful tool. Oh, starting off with a double? I mean, you may have chopped, like, a good portion of the back of my craniums. My, my... My skull box. My dome piece, as it were. Oh, another double? Is this, like, truly where we peak? Is this just Izzy versus Yasek? That is the that is that is peak swordplay in this game. Back away. Oh, I was too close and I was holding long guard because I was going for a thing, but I didn't react fast enough. Got to be quicker. Now I'm a point down. Ain't no way. I mean, there is a way. It's where I went for a mid attack and he went for a high and he just swung right over my head and chopped it at me. I got chopped it. Well, I have to remember about these. Another double? Is this the most doubles I've ever had in a single match? I don't... Maybe. History will tell us if that is true or false. Oh, he got me with like a little push cut. Another double. Oh, I just, I cannot take a point without sacrificing the point as I do it. He's a I mean, sometimes I can just give him the point and not have one myself and then lose and get 3-0 swept. But you don't get to watch that and tell me I didn't try and fight for it. I tried. All right, Marie versus Kalkstein. This is kind of fun. I got range on him for sure. Gotcha. And then stabbed him. That was actually quite smooth. That was that was kind of that was a little bit tasty. Was that was that not was that not a little bit tasty? Got stab. Bink, bink. And then we bow. <laughs> 
<laughs> the setup was just too good. He's slow moving. His sword is lowered, and I could just run up and a skip a step and a lunge. That was that was a that was a finishing move, man. That was a Mortal Kombat fatality. Ow! Oh, we get incredibly hostile Gideon today. Don't spit, you dog. See what happens? See what happens? You spit like a dog, you get put down like old yeller. We just took you out in the middle of the in the middle of the courtyard and rammed a longsword through your head, and I've never seen that movie. Apparently. Got you in the wrist there too. Uh, no, I'm a, I'm aware of old Yeller. It was behind the barn or whatever. Shoot him. He's making a joke. Let me make my jokes. That's why you come here, right? I hope the humor is why you come here. I hope it's not to see somebody play the game Hellish Court real good because uh, you probably want to go to like like Racers Channel or Quests Channel or somebody like that. Or, or Subatai, or, or SQM, any of those guys, like, actually, like, good, just, just actually good at the game. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was quite the exchange. I, I had fun with that. All right, can we lunge? Can we, nope. I do really like Colby. Oh, settled him down. Put him to bed. Look at how blue Colkstein's eyes are. Pause. Anyhow, don't worry about that. Don't worry about any of that. Don't, don't really bear thinking about, but. All right, now we get Tarnov versus Colkstein on the other side. All right, we weaving? Weave? Weave? Weave. Weave. Do there you go. What you have to do is try and swing your sword. It's okay. You is allowed. There we are. There we are. Okay. He has a very powerful attack. So like, whenever he stance switches, the attack is strong. Like, that's a very strong attack. Hey, hey, two and oh, sir. Um, but it's just about being able to stand switch back. Uh, and, and as I would learn, like, which stances do what. Oh, that was mean. That was mean. Look at your mad uncle Tarnov. He clearly has got a bit of the problems going on and uh, probably has got the jail more than once. All right, now it's Laszlo Vitarnov. Yep, that was short. Our hero in red. Our, our hero? Hero? Well, my Jonathan Wass. Our hero in red. This has conceded the first point, but taken the second one. Got him right under the armpit as well. He loves it. Look at him. Couldn't be happier. Yep, oh, bonk. <laughs> Big old bonkulon. Some days you just gotta you just gotta go to where they make the bonkulons. You gotta pick up a a wholesale bulk by shipment of them and you just got to deliver them to a guy who deserves it. Just give them the bonculons, man. They, they need that to get by. Samuel versus Samuel. Neither Samuel can get through other Samuel's guard apart from when I pick a really nice range and execute a long stepped lunge. Well, you see, then he eats it. Didn't really give him much of a choice, mate. Kind of just fed him that one. Wanna know what I like about Samuel? Doesn't switch footings. At least I don't think he does. 
Very, uh, very stable. Very stable base. Comes from a powerful position, so he does. Alright, can we make it a sweep? Yes, we can. Look at the arc. The arc the saber tip traced through the sky was a thing of beauty. And that thing of beauty will be the last thing we see for this episode today. If you are a new viewer, thank you so much for taking a watch. And if you made it all the way to the end, seems like you've seen something that you like. Maybe consider subscribing for the other content that I'm bringing you and drop a like if you had fun with this video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back and viewing these with me. I appreciate y'all being here. Y'all know it makes me warm and fuzzy in my little tummy. Oh, so very much. Other than that, there's nothing left for me to say. Then I have been Cade. This has been Hellish Court This Sword Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time.